what's going on guys? Beautiful day today. I got Candy the KTM with me. Back out here in Lano, back in the hill you know, country. Yeah, it feels good to get back on this thing, man. It's been so long since I've had it out here, probably since last October, probably. I hadn't really done any serious riding on it really since then, so I'm really looking to get back in the saddle, get back in the swing of things, man. Just trying to enjoy the scenery, enjoy the ride, build back those skills uh, from not riding for you know those months. But I know a couple of people have asked me on camera. Some people have asked me off camera, so I definitely have it, man. And she's a beast of a bike, and we're gonna have some fun today. But yeah, look, let's uh, let's check out all Lano here. I think they have the weekend's farmers market, which is awesome. Very nice, guys. Very nice. Oh wow, I got some live music, man. Look at that, dude. How cool is that? Get out of here, fellas. If you hadn't been out here, bring your loved ones. You'll have a good time, I promise you. Man, this thing is like riding a bicycle, dude. It's so cool. It's so lightweight. But yeah, guys. It took me a long time before I finally bit the bullet and bought a dual sport and I have to remember where the rear brake is on this thing jeez louise I tell ya yeah it took a long time man but you know I don't regret it man you know yeah man it's a lot of pros and cons to owning a dual sport and for me one of my major pros that I, I just love is I'm able to load this thing up in the back of a pickup and take it to wherever I want to ride. Oh wow, what we got here? Oh. That is a nice size hole there, bro. Tell you right now. I imagine they were hog hunting last night and that one got away. It does happen occasionally. Mm. At least it won't go to waste. Somebody will eat it for something. Dude, I always almost get that wrong. <laughs> That's so funny. There you go. Guys, I appreciate you joining me this morning. It's a great day. Beautiful day. Get out and ride if you haven't yet. Please, you owe it to yourselves. But yeah, I hope everybody had a great week, man. I know I did, but you know what? I'll never forget, one of my mentors years ago said, Dan, if you take the choice out of things, it really will simplify your life. So, you know, sometimes you just have to refuse to let things get the best of you. Do what you gotta do, you know what I mean? But anyway, let's ride. Woo! Man, it's so nice to be back on the old KTM, baby. The KTM on. Can't do the KTM on. It's been a long time. A long time, man. It's since last year. Ooh, good job, squirrel. Good job. You saw how you cut back like that? Boy. It's the running back skills there. I love about the KTM. I'm able to grip the seat really well. And, uh, Gives me that little bit of extra confidence with it, man. Yeah. Let's see what we got here.
is it really? I forgot it did rain. So truth be told, things are probably a little bit deeper. What'd you say? I want to ride that thing. Come on. It's all on you, man. Give it a shot. All right. Are you going to go down 315? Um, no. I'm going to I'm going to go over here. Okay. On the three, the 313. Okay. 313 and then 114 and so on. But I'm, I'm going to do a couple videos before I go. Okay. So I'm doing a camp video. Okay. I'm going to accidentally drop my bike here somewhere huh i'm gonna accidentally drop my oh. bike here somewhere well <laughs> you know you got plenty of trees set up yeah so and then you you know you you know you got the place to yourself so nobody's gonna look at you crazy yeah this is nice it is i mean it's i mean there's one up there you could literally camp anywhere you could yeah. pitch a tent so like when we come out here next weekend people can pitch their tent anywhere they want oh yeah I'm going to scout and look for some others to yeah. see, you know, what's, but I figured for today, it had good trees, and put my hammock up, Yeah. you know, yeah. gather some wood. Look, you got a little bit bigger chair now, huh, Tony? Yeah, I brought the big chair, put yeah. it on the back. Why not? The front. Yeah. Why not? I used the little one inside the tent for putting stuff on, and so. Yeah, that's all right, might man. Might as well be comfortable. But this one, I, I created a new route, and I want to make sure that that's the right route. Okay. And, and see what it's like, and then, um. I was gonna go up to Castle. Yeah. Maybe have lunch or something like that, a late lunch. Yeah. And then come back and then shoot a couple more videos. Okay. I'm just trying to do a whole bunch. I got, I got the trailer to review. I've got the, some my, you know, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. That I'm gonna be doing while I'm out here. And I just, what I really love about this place is I don't have to camp. I can come out here. Yeah. And just find a spot anywhere. Yeah. And do a video. Oh no doubt. Whether I'm just sitting on a chair talking. Yeah. You know, I know what I mean? I do. With the bike in the background, with yeah. your background. Yep. It really is a. I can't believe I waited this long to come out here. Yeah. I knew about this place like three years ago. Yeah. But I, what I really thought it was is I didn't know it was really like a campground. Like I thought this. It was just some guy. Yeah. Who a ranch guy. Yeah. Who's like, okay, well you can camp over here. Yeah. No, you no. Know. He's easy. Where'd you come from? Did you do the loop? I did. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I heard you. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, that's got to be Dan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, Tony. It's, it's not bad. It's really not. It's not as bad as you would think. No. You know what I mean? No, and it's small enough that it's not like a huge, big, heavy bike. Yeah, I, I mean. I probably pick that up if I had to. I mean, the bike itself, Tony, before I did anything, was about 250-ish. Mm -hmm. I mean, I added a bigger tank. Oh yeah, you got it. My luggage. I mean, I imagine Tony, even how it is right this, I'm still under 300 pounds. Oh yeah. You know, that's that, this would be perfect big band and yeah. white rim and yeah, exactly. all that kind of stuff. Yeah. You know, like eventually I want to have a tower and everything because I okay. want this to be a lightweight adventure bike. Yeah. You know that could still tackle. Yeah. Well, you got a lot you can do to it. Oh yeah, it's you know, a lot after. 
you have a lot you can do to it with this with um you, you're not gonna put crash bars on it mm, no i wouldn't it's not it's no. not that kind of a bike. no it's yeah. it's meant to be yeah uh, totally. that's what dirt bikes are dirt bikes you drop them yeah. you step off them yeah you pick them up you, yep you, now you the rally up. i did have crash protection yeah on my fairing it was yeah. cheap i the mean rally, yeah I think but I this bike. No, I this mean, one you this let it go. Is, you know. Yeah. It's I'm, gonna get scratched. Yeah, the up, plastics but, are cheap. Yeah. The, you know, the stuff is cheap on this. Yeah. What's this? This is just uh, you know, if I need to hook up anything, I just quick because uh, right now I just have my Th this one right here. This open. That's right? just extra. Okay, so you're gonna put it something on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just figured yeah. while I had it all the while part. While you're wiring. Yeah. Yep. And I have another uh connector by my right leg. Yeah. Because like I said, I want this to be a lightweight adventure bike. You know. Yeah. Exactly. And I got some mirrors on the way, but I, I know get, people don't get the look back or the they are knockoffs. Those they are knockoffs. These are round. I, yeah. I'll be honest with you, Tom. I I know people don't like them, but well, the only the only issue with them is that you can break them. Yeah. And uh, then if you break them and you break this off, then you're yeah. you're screwed. But yeah. with with those kind, or why people like them is because they bend all over the place. Yeah, I know. That's but, the only the only difference that I would say. Yeah, but hydraulic uh, clutch. Yeah, it's oh, like yeah, I said. definitely want to ride it. Yeah, I'll put it around here. Yeah, well, why not, Tom? Why not? Get the feel of a, a clutch again. Do you want to sit on it real quick? Sure. Before I take off. Okay. The only thing is, this kickstand is not meant to bear any weight. Okay. Because I'm just, you don't have a foot on it. You no. Know, I mean, it's but it's even, just it's not meant to actually hold weight. If you know what I mean, hold the bike. like it'll hold the bike, but you know how. You're not gonna stand up on it. Hell, no, no not with the kickstand up. Yeah, exactly, Tony. Yep. Yeah. Just like that. Yep. Yep. It's a tall bike. This is taller than my bike. Yep. There you go. Taller than my bike. Yep. There you go. Perfect. See. See, look at that. It's tall, but with the suspension compressed, it's not that bad. And just imagine with the Recluse clutch. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be comfortable for a long ride. No, no, no. Day on the bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it really, you know, everything has its purpose. For me, this is a good dual sport bike. Yeah. If I'm not, if I'm going to be doing more roads that are 50 mile an hour or under, yeah. perfect. If I have to log 70 for two hours, no. But from around here, this is, this, yeah. It's not bad. Like I said, with the Recluse clutch. How do you start it? Oh, Tony. Look at Uncle Tony, man. Don't do anything too crazy, Uncle Tony. I don't care about the bike. I don't want you to get hurt. I not mean that. Look at Uncle Tony go, man. Look at Uncle Tony go. I would too, Tony. Well, as you can see, this is Uncle Tony's hot spot for tonight. He's set up, got his nice tent, he's got his AT. Guys, if you're looking to customize your Africa Twin, please check it out. Please check his channel out, because he's all that, let me tell you. He's hooked up, look, he looks like he's recording now. Go ahead, Uncle Tony. Yeah. Yeah. Is it in uh, neutral? Just let it out just a little bit. Okay. It's in neutral. It would definitely take take uh, time getting used to. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, what I noticed is the front end is very... Oh, you have to get used to that. Yeah. Or either put you a steering stabilizer on there. I would. Yeah. I would. Just because it feels like... Yeah. It feels, I mean, compared to my bike. Mm-hmm. But I, I could see how 
The only thing that I would get in trouble on this bike, yeah, stop somewhere and I couldn't, yeah, couldn't get my balance. But you know, you can always easily step off. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, Tony. So, you know, that is an aftermarket rear suspension, yeah. and it's, I'm, yeah. it's very stiff. Yeah. So you, for you. Yeah. Yes, it's very stiff for me yeah. and my luggage. Mainly, the main thing I came out here to do is to camp. Yeah. And to do a, yeah. Some for sure. Well, like I said, you hooked up, Tony. Got plenty of shade, plenty of trees. Oh boy, you got your you got your big boy this time. Oh, this is the one I always have. Oh, you had it with you last time? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is very nice. This is the shit. This thing is extra long. Yeah. And extra wide. Oh, this great. One, the one that you that I gave you. Yes. So this is uh, probably a little bit longer. Okay. Uh, much wider. Gotcha. Because I always felt that I was like in a roll off. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, this one you got. Uh, oh, yeah. All the room, yep. All the room in the world. Tony. Oh, boy. Uncle Tony hooked himself up, man. so excited to be back on the KTM. I let way too much time pass, but you know what? I'm happy to be back in the saddle. Now that I have the GS and this bike, I feel like I have a really good combination to be able to tackle all different types of roads, terrain, trips, whatever, man. I'm, I'm excited to be able to uh, explore an adventure. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are doing good, doing great. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your family. Stay positive. Y'all take care.